are here again, LaxCon, day number two, with a legend in the hair game, Matt Gibson. So, you have an amazing mustache. It's one of the first things that people are talking about whenever they're talking Matt Gibson. How much time do you spend each morning on it? Not a lot. It's actually a controversial thing because there's going to be a lot of kids at this, and this is this is a questionable mustache yeah. to have around so many young kids. Mm -hmm. But I, I decided it was a good. I'm glad that you agree that it was a solid move. But I spend close to no time grooming it; just shave it, let it fly. Yeah, that's honestly the best way to do it. Homegrown facial hair is key in lacrosse and in all aspects of life. But you know, Matt, besides that, you're just such an off the field personality that people are drawn to. And I think that has to do with a lot of the way that you approach the game. Um, do you think you approach the game in a more holistic manner than most people? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to get into comparing how I approach it to how other people approach it, but I, I try to approach it purely. Um, I think if I couldn't, if I could go sponsorless, I would. So Strinking happens to be my sponsor, but if I was able to build my own stick, I would. So the product side and the commercialization of the sport is something that comes with, that's what happens when a sport grows. But sometimes it can take the focus off, you know, the pure love of the game and what it's really about. So I do try to take that approach. I hope that I, that's the message that I send. But um, I think there's a lot of people doing that, you know. I think a lot of people yeah. really love the sport. So and I, absolutely, this is like the the best example of it. Everyone here is just such a fan of the sport. Yeah. I don't want to take away from your status as an amazing player, but when I approach your style of the game, you seem more to be of a pure lacrosse player than an athlete in general. How do you think that actually gives you a different way of excelling at the game other people just don't seem to notice? Yeah, I think uh, you're right. So I don't look like someone who's a professional athlete. Um, so I'm a very specialized skill set. Uh, kind of get by a lot on my stick skills. You know, I'm not a terrible athlete, obviously. I'm a pretty good athlete, but the fact that I have such good stick skills um, allows me to kind of have a niche that there's always going to be a role for me. Exactly. Um, so you can have a guy who's a lot, a way faster, stronger guy than me, but if you're, you know, if you've played a lot of lacrosse, you can often get, get the better of a guy like that. Um, that being said, there's a place for great athletes too. There's a bunch of thoroughbred athletes out there who just will run me over. So <laughs> try not to get in their way. You just have a unique style of approaching the game, playing the game that I think a lot of younger players really appreciate because it's a deviation from the norm. It's something that more players can say, I want to be like Matt Gibson because I can see myself being Matt Gibson. Would you agree with that? Uh, yeah. Well, it's one of those things that you want. You want. I myself, uh, I try to be. I don't want to say try to be unique, but I don't try to model my game after a lot of guys. You know, I always looked up to Mikey Powell, but the reason I looked up to him is because he didn't play like anyone else. So in looking up to him, I was like, wait, I, I can't do that. I gotta craft my own style. So I think that. If anything, I'd like to send that message that just do your own thing and um, just create your own style, really. Um, there's a lot of great role models out there, and you should look up to them and take the, take the good, the good advice and tips that they have, but just craft your own style. Exactly. You're an incredibly creative player. You seem like an innovator on the field when I have the balls in your stick or out of it, cutting, always trying to make offense. But when you're not on the field, do you think that Miss McTwists are just completely your full focus? Yeah, I recently bought a, two, uh, I think it's a 2009 Honda Ruckus knockoff. So the McTwist is something that I've been working towards busting a McTwist on this thing. My mom keeps trying to pull me away from it. Don't do it, Matt. You're going to get hurt. You're help, you need more padding. But down the line, I will McTwist at one point. It might be the last that you see me because it's absolutely an egregious move to pull and we'll probably, I'll pass away. Uh, so I've been waiting to ask this. Was it inspired by Tony Hawk Underground? No, I mean, loosely, you know, because he's a creative guy. I'm not actually sure what a McTwist is. I have to look up what the technique is, but it's just go big off that ramp. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Go big or go home. And honestly, you heard it here first from a true thoroughbred, one and only. Thank you, Matt Gibson. I really appreciate it. Thank great, you so much. Great to meet you. Yeah, truthfully.